Today, in the house of Burgesses, however, I heard as my father heard the other voice of Patrick Henry. We were debating our stand on the towns and duties by which Parliament would tax us on the importation of glass, lead, paint, paper, and tea. We must pass these resolutions of opposition to the iniquitous towns and duties by which Parliament has degraded and enslaved us. Are we so meek and pusillanimous that we cannot add our voice to the cries of protest from our sister colonies? Mr. Randolph says these resolves are expressions of disloyalty to the Crown. They speak the sentiments of sedition, says our friend from Goochland County. Their passage would be an act of treason, says Mr. Carter. I seem to recall that four years ago, when I spoke out against the Stamp Act, there were also cries of treason. The Stamp Act was a tax. We opposed it. It was repealed. The Townsend duties are a tax. Oppose them with equal steadfastness, and they will be repealed. But how does the opposition defend this new attack upon our liberties? The stamp tax was an internal tax, they say. The Townsend duties imposed only on goods we import are external taxes, therefore different in principle. Are we such adultish people as to swallow this absurd distinction? Is it disloyalty? Is it sedition? Is it treason to oppose the hand of tyranny? Never! We are free Englishmen with the God-given right to tax ourselves. And we shall not yield that right to any power on earth. Not to Townsend, not to Parliament, not to the King himself. <laughs>